Dan 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 Nigerians. Hey, <laughs> it don't happen though. How do we now put this? Nigerian government versus Binta Yako. Okay, so now we go down the puta Nigerian government versus Binta Yako, just like the way we the puta Nam the Kano versus the federal government. So right now, now you don't turn the federal government versus Binta Yako. See, when God is ready to fight for you, it starts. It starts from where you never expected. So that is what is happening now in Mazen and case. This will shock you that I report last week that Binta Inyako, it was a leaked uh, call that Binta Inyako is planning, that she's planning, you know, you know, to sue the federal government of Nigeria over this Mazen and case because she said she's unwilling to go on with the case. But Nigeria did that the chief judge uh Tosu, John Tosu said she must continue with the case because other judges have refused to go on with the case. So she's the only person available with the to, uh, to, to, to handle the case because she had been the one handling the case since 2017. You understand? But she don't confine in people, say the case, you not get weight, you not get, it's, it's like a, a, a featherweight, that the case, the case is more political, you understand? So that, that is the reason why the case is even very difficult for them. The case is difficult for them. Not mind with the just those ones when they do that, they call those ones trial. The case is different, it's difficult for them to do, to go on with. How can you persecute somebody? You are persecuting somebody you don't have any proof against. Even when your judge, your, your court don't say leave them, you say no. You go continue. You are not satisfied. You are not satisfied until when you get satisfied. Look at now, which kind of disgrace be all these ones? This woman says she no won't go on with the case again. The government say now let she go handle the case. And you see, all these ones now just an excuse to make sure say the dilemma is not the canal. That is just how I'm saying it. All this matter now. I go handle the case. I know go. You must go. You know go. He just this is another strategy to make sure that they keep on holding him in DSS custody. Yes. It's another strategy. Wait till don't when you don't wait till you don't first to the eat before. You can't say you're not chop on again. Why? You must finish. You must finish the food. You must finish the food. She don't see say the way the federal government is going. You know, with this Mazen and the Canons case, they will use her, and that is the reason why. She is unwilling to go on with the case. And they are still pushing her. They are still pushing her because no judges in Nigeria, you know, who want to handle Mazen and the Ghana's case. Everybody, they say, not be me. My hand, not day. My hand, not day. Well, Nigeria, this is getting, getting more interesting. Uh, we have interesting, uh, we have interesting time ahead of us. You get so many things is going to unfold, you know, ahead of us. So many things. In future, we are going to see so many dramas, so many things, you know, uh, concerning this matter and the case. That is what you get when you don't do things, you know, in the right way. Well, in another news uh, development, the legal team representing Inam the Kano, okay, had a significant meeting on Monday with officials from the Department of State Service, DSS, to discuss the ongoing restrictions on its access to legal counsel. According to Daily Post, this meeting followed the DSS earlier restriction that prevented Canon from meeting with his lawyers after his recent court appearance. The DSS imposed the restrictions after a, a description of the federal High Court in Abuja, where Kano requested that Justice Binta Inyako rescue herself from his case. In response, the court issued a stern warning to the DSS Director General 
Adeola Ajayi threatened J time if he if the restrictions on Kano's legal assets uh, were not lifted. So despite the uh, blockage, uh, Ubi Agwacha, a House of uh, Representatives member from the uh, Umaya North and South Federal Constituency, visited Kano on October 24, 2024 at the DSS facility in Abuja. So following his visit, Agwacha stated that uh, he had addressed and resolved the restrictions imposed by the DSS. After the restrictions were lifted, Kano's lead counsel, Aloyed Marco, confirmed that he and the, the legal team were able to meet with the IPOP uh, leader for two hours. So Ejimako shared an update on the situation via his social media platform X, formerly Twitter, where he provided insight into the meeting. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video, let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.